don't just join the Marine Corps because you think you're gonna go kill bad guys. Some Marines never leave the US. in the Marine Corps, you might as well leave now because that's not what this video is about at all. What I will be informing you about the Marine Corps are a few things. The first being what you can do to prepare yourself before going to boot camp, what you should be doing while you are in, how to take full advantage of what the Marine Corps has to offer, and the reason I got out of the Marine Corps. One thing I will state before I begin is if the Marine Corps had an internship, a whole lot of people would not be in the Marine Corps at this time. The Marine Corps is an organization that you have to want to be in. What you need to be doing before you join. Obviously, you will need to be in shape before going to boot camp. This will make your time in the core a lot easier and better for yourself because being in shape is one of the top priorities. Three simple things you can do before going to boot camp are run, do pull-ups, and do core exercises. I have a plethora of those on the channel that you can check out. I will also have some cards going over the top of my head you can click on some workouts that you can do to help you before you go to boot camp. Don't just join the Marine Corps because you think you're gonna go kill bad guys. Some Marines never leave the U.S. If you want to fight for your country, there's nothing wrong with that. If you're a true patriot at heart, nothing wrong. Everyone has a reason why they want to join the Marine Corps. But you have to think deeper than that. No one wants to stay in the Marine Corps forever, and no one actually will stay in the Marine Corps forever. I know they say, once a Marine, always a Marine, but no one stays in forever. You need to have a plan before you join. If you don't know anyone who is currently in the military or the Marine Corps at the time, see if you, your friends have any brothers or sisters who currently are in the military, ask them what it's like for them on a day-to-day -day basis. Tell them to give you the actual truth about what their life is like day-to-day -day and ask them if they like it or they don't like it and why. See what their MOS is, military occupation specialty. That is what their job is in the Marine Corps or in the military in general, find out if they like it. And if they do, why? If they don't, why not? Make sure you do your research before joining now too as well. Other than what I just told you about asking people, get on Google and look up everything you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to do in the military. Make sure you look in there and see exactly what you're gonna be doing in that job, as much information as you can find out. Because a lot of people, they join the military, Marine Corps specifically, things are gonna be a certain way, and then they wanna exit stage left ASAP. You need to set up a savings plan before you join. You can have a savings plan with your family that helped you out, or you can start one right when you join. That way, if you only do four years, you'll still have a little nest egg saved up for when you get back out into the civilian. Look into buying a house. Real estate can be great passive income to add to your portfolio. Also, go visit a financial counselor to help you, show you exactly how you should be saving your money, investing your money. And if you are looking to make purchases to set you up for your future, they can help you with that. Make sure you go to college. Even if you're staying there for four years, it will be tough. But no matter what anyone tells you while you're in, you can go to college and you can complete it. But you have to have the discipline to make sure you're doing it in your off time. Because you won't have a lot of off time. You think you'll have a lot more than you do. But a lot of people, when they're in their off time, all they want to do is relax and sleep and party and eat and go out and things like that and waste their money and everything. But if you have the discipline enough in your off time, you can get a, a degree even in your first four years, depending on what your job is. To expand on the make a plan portion, this goes for anyone even just staying for four years up to 24 years. You need to find out exactly what you want to do when you get out. You need to think about that because I've talked to a lot of people who are in and I'm like, so what are you going to do after you get out after your 20 plus years or whatever? Well, I don't know what to do with my life. Uh, I figured out then. Wrong answer. You need to make a plan. You know what to say? Prior planning prevents piss poor performance. That's exactly what will happen to you if you get out after 20 years. Yeah, you might be getting that retirement check, but if you don't know, if you don't have a plan, then you're setting yourself up to fail. What is your passion? What do you want to do with your life? What are your goals and aspirations? Do you want to be away from your family for long periods of time? Do you hate being told what to do? Do you have tough skin? All of these topics and so much more are questions you should be asking yourself before you join the Marine Corps. Will you just stand for four years and get out after you learn to trade? Will you become a cop? Are you in the military to get a degree? Think about all of this stuff before you sign on the dotted line. Because once you do, the only way out is in the brig, prison, dishonorable discharge, or making it to the end of your contract, where they throw you away like some used up toilet paper. I'm joking about that at the end, but uh, there's truth to every single joke. I'm just gonna let you know about that. Why I got out. The atmosphere of the Corps is changing, and it is at a point where this must be said. A lot of the older Marines that are in now hate it and take it out on the newer generation. Instead of helping and teaching them, they are just taking out their frustrations of what is going on in their personal life to work with them. For example, wives cheating, not sleeping with them, etc. And everyone has to deal with that. 
They want to get out, but they can't because it's easier for them to just stay in and have the organization, the Marine Corps, take care of and control everything that they do. Majority of them don't have any goals or drive. They are just on the train headed to the 20 year plus payday and they don't care about anyone who genuinely needs them to be a leader or a role model and set the example. I have a question for you. Would you do 20 years in the military if they weren't paying you? Think about that. I don't regret my decision on joining because I am grateful for everything the Marine Corps has helped me accomplish. But it was just my time to pursue my passion and take the next step to do what I've always wanted to do, be in full control of my life. I'm gonna read an excerpt from one of my good friends, Joshua Choa. He recently just got out of the Marine Corps as well, and he said exactly what I was thinking. So I'm gonna read this post he posted on Instagram, and it definitely fits with this video I'm talking about. This adds to why I got out of the military. He says, I can't say enough how happy I am to put these days behind me. I love the Marine Corps and always be grateful for what it's done for me. But to me, there's always been more to life than just this uniform. I will be as real and truthful with everyone from here on out. Nothing can or ever will tell me what to do or say. My Marines loved me and respected me, still do. Never lost trust in me. As a staff and CEO, I got to see how corrupted the mindset was amongst this rank range armchair leaders out of shape nasty individuals that somehow were seen as my peer or above me it's so crazy because marines absolutely thrive on getting other marines in trouble they love seeing someone fall rather than seeing their success and it's usually within the same peer group jealousy fuels others anyone who ever wanted to see me hurt fall or never make it outside the core know that I'm no longer unhappy, stressed, working unpaid for all of, all of the real hard long hours, not getting days off, nor wondering if I'll be home next month or next year. A positive and clear mind and conscience will always prevail. For those of you who are still in, please do your part in making the core great again. Love one another, work together, reward people, and above all, take care of your Marines. Leaders eat last. What I'll end the video with is, the atmosphere in the Marine Corps changed for me as I became a staff and CEO. I joined the staff and CEO ranks thinking I was about to be in a new level of, of leadership. And I was so happy to be there when I first got into it. But then I saw what it really is, exactly everything he just covered and just touched on. Uh, a lot of backstabbing going on, a lot of undermining each other, a lot of no camaraderie, that's what's going. Com camaraderie, the, the brotherhood. I couldn't trust these guys anymore. And I felt like everyone that was out for themselves and it wasn't anyone trying to help each other. It was everyone just trying to step on each other to get to the top and make themselves look good. And obviously the junior Marines was, they were the ones that were taking the brunt of it. So that is what was causing me to get out. Saw in the officers ranks as well. And it, all of that just made me just like, this is not something I want to be a part of anymore. That could have been from the unit that I was with, but I felt that in my last two to three years I was in, it wasn't just the unit I was with because I had went through multiple units. And I asked some of my other Marine friends that were in, and they said they were dealing with some of the same issues. And then I started seeing a lot of my great Marine friends who were definitely outstanding Marines starting to get out as well. And by that time, I already had made my decision to get out before I even started seeing them get out. So it made me even feel more confident in the decision that I was making. So that's the reason why I got out. Like I said, I'm grateful for everything I've done. the Marine Corps has helped me achieve with my life. I just wanted to give you guys great tips and advice from my point of view and some things that I wish I had done better while I was in. Uh, I don't regret anything I did while I was in, um, but it was time for me to go. But like I said, I just want to give you guys some advice from my perspective when I was in so that you don't make the same mistakes I made and you have more information and tools that you can use before even joining the Marine Corps, before you make that decision. Because signing a four-year contract in the military is definitely a decision that can impact your life tremendously. So I hope you learned something from this video. And before you go into the military in general, I hope you watch this video. Share it with your friends. If you know somebody's about to go in, send it to them so they can see it and look at it and think about it. It just gets you thinking. If there's anything I left out of this video, leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. 
Make sure you guys are staying consistent. See you guys in the next one.